Hello? Hi, user with a bunch of numbers. Hello, everyone. I'm Peaceful Nick the Medium. I'm going to do some free live readings after I fix my bun. Hello, hello, hi. Hopefully my bun will work. I got this picture. Look at this background picture. <clears throat> I um, took this outside the other day, a couple days ago. Um, we don't get a lot of... <laughs> We don't get a lot of clouds here in Northern California where I live. Um, but hello. Hi, Bridget. Bridget. Christine, hi. Um, but I thought this was so beautiful. So I thought, oh, that'll be a nice background. Um, so that's my beautiful moon. I love the moon. Um, click some likes, please, so people join. I want to have, you know, a bunch of people on here. If you have any mediumship questions, put them in the chat, the little thing, you know, you know how to do it. And uh, let me know. You can ask me about spirit guides or um, how to be a medium or anything like that. And where's Hermit, California? I'm in uh, San Mateo. Um, anyway, any questions about... Uh, Bridget, your parents are with you every time you think of them and sometimes when they're not. So for anybody asking, whenever, so our spirit, soul, however you want to define it, anytime you think of someone, they can be there instantaneously. Oh, Monterey's beautiful. I love going down to Monterey. Um, hi, Arizona. Hi, Riverside. Um, you're parents or whoever your loved ones are as soon as you think about them they're there instantaneously hi deborah jane i'm sorry to hear uh, about the loss of your spouse yes they do hear you speaking to them um we're just like an antenna we're just like an antenna so uh, um, if you're old enough to understand what the old antennas on the tv looked like or the old car antennas. Do they still have car antennas? I don't know. Um, as soon as you think of them, they can instantaneously connect because um, spirit is quantum. In my opinion, my research that I've done and as a scientist, I've studied a lot of physics and our energy of our consciousness stays around forever. And it can't be destroyed. And so we have it in our consciousness and our consciousness goes to the spirit world. And so we can connect instantaneously. Let's see. Um, yes. All right. I love that. I thought, yep. Sue. Hello. Hello. East Texas. Um, I bet it's, is it still hot over there? I was in Houston a few years ago for a conference and I used to live in Savannah, Georgia and Houston and Savannah is pretty humid and hot and Houston was like a billion times hotter. Is it still warm? Um, Wendy, what does my dad have to say? Um, is there something going on with the family coming up for the holidays? Is there some kind of issue, talking, drama, something around the family? Um, let me know in caps. If I, if I a answer you, let me know the answer in caps and give me a hint to what the question was because when a lot of people get on here, I forget because I answer so many questions and then I get down like 99 comments and I forget what I said. Because, you know, it's a lot going on up here. Um, hi. Hi, Kathy. Everybody go follow Kathy Barron's medium. She's a wonderful, sweet, compassionate, amazing medium. Um, go follow her. K-A-T-H-I-B-E-H-R-A-N-S medium. Oh, E-N-S medium. She's on here right now. She gave me the wavy hand. She's wonderful, wonderful person, wonderful medium. Follow her. Tell me something. <laughs> Thank you, Kathy. 
Tell me something to make me believe. Well, it's like um, anything you believe, you either believe it or you don't. No one can convince you to believe something. So I can't convince you to believe something. Um, I'm sorry, Wendy. Um, yeah, so... Well, yeah, you are dealing with some unfortunate things. So there's some stuff going on. So I think that would be a yes, I'm thinking. Um, anyway, I can't make anybody believe. You have to go through your own experience. I'm not, gonna, I'm not here to convince anybody of anything. You either believe it or you don't. Um, the only way you'd ever really know is through your own experience to have a one-on-one -on -one reading with somebody. It doesn't have to be me. It can be anybody. Um, so... Um, let's see. Does my grandparents rest in peace? Everyone, this is for everyone on here. Everybody rests in peace. Oh, and if you want to book a full reading, peacefulnickthemedium.com. I also have a couple of spaces left for my small group reading Saturday night. So you can email me for those because those aren't on my website. Um, sorry, I was answering a question. Um, everyone rests in peace. Um, so for, that's for everybody. Um, Chrissy, I don't do psychic predictions and, um, good luck with your exam. Just do the best you can and know that it test grades, exam grades don't define you. Um, Nikki, how is my nephew? Your nephew's fine. And yes, he sees everything the family has gone through. So he crossed over and he's at peace as everyone who crosses over um, goes to the spirit world. They may do different things once they get there, um, depending on their passing. I have a feeling there's a story behind your nephew's passing. Um, was he responsible for his passing in some way, Nikki baby? Um, love your name, by the way. Um, so... Let me know. And yes, he sees everything. Um, 48 Big Bear, is my husband happy I'm selling our home? So, you know, it doesn't, they don't really care about material things. Um, so, oh, hold on, I'm reading, okay. They don't really care, so he's fine with it. So it's not that they're, happy if we do you know sell a house or whatever it's that they just want your soul to grow and for you to be happy no to talk to family okay because of the drama all right thank you wendy will jordan propose to me Alyssa? do you want jordan to propose to you are there some red flags you might be missing um think about what you want are you satisfied are you just hoping to get a proposal to fulfill? This is just in, in, in general. I don't know you and I don't do psychic predictions professionally. But in general, for everyone who's hoping for a proposal or a relationship, is that what you really want? Have you worked on yourself? Have you done all the work inside of you? Um, ask yourself that. Okay. Uh, Donna Shire. Yes, your mom is okay. Are you reading someone now? Uh, uh, well, I'm pretty constantly reading it. You know what's been happening to me at work because I have a day job that I'm transitioning out of over the next few months. <laughs> um, I work with a bunch of people and they don't know that I'm only a couple of them know I'm a medium. <laughs> I was in a meeting yesterday and the woman I was meeting with grandmother started talking to me and from the spirit world while I was in this meeting and this woman is my direct supervisor <laughs> and I could not tell her her grandma had a message for her and another lady I work with who's a co-worker uh equal you know co-worker I asked her the other day if she wanted a reading about her dad and I don't I've only known her a very short time so I didn't even know if her dad was passed or not and she's like what do you mean I go well I'm a medium because he was talking to me the whole day before and it was driving me crazy and he wants to give her a message um so she's like no I don't believe in that I'm an atheist and I was like okay but I put this planted the seed 
her dad is passed. She did tell me that. Um, all right, Nikki baby, um, alcohol was involved. Yeah, so I thought there was a, some something like that happening. Um, you know, he was, as anybody who passes in that way, they're dealing with a lot of demons. And so I feel like he was the scapegoat of the family, Nikki. And um, he got a lot of blame because he had the problems that were showing like the things he did showed that he had problems and whew, he is strong. Um, he was the one ever was like, look at him. He's got problems. Don't look at us because we're the normal ones when really he was manifesting through this substance, um, these things he was doing, the pain he dealt with. The, how he was dealing with the pain from the drama in the family. So the family still has problems. And it wasn't his fault. He was dealing with the problems the best way he knew how to cope. So the family still needs to deal with all that stuff. They need to clear it. They need to deal with the drama. They need to fix it. Um and get it get it together i would say wit 97 and thank you for the follows um can you tell me who my female guardian angel is so you can do something called sitting in the power i don't do stuff like that that's not my my forte or what i do when i do mediumship readings but i can tell you a very easy way to find out on your own you can if you know how to do sitting in the power you can do that um, and ask who's my guardian angel and she'll tell you her name. Um, or you can go for free on YouTube. There's millions of videos. Just put sitting in the power for my guardian angel and you'll probably find a 10 minute or so video. There's probably a lot of them and um, it'll walk you through how to find your guardian angel. And it's that simple, uh, but it's not something I can do for you. I think there are probably people who charge people to do that. I don't do that. That to me that's unethical. I'm not going to tell somebody who their guardian angel is cuz I just don't agree with doing that. That's not me. Um crazy bougie, I think. I miss Jamie. Jamie's okay. Yes, Jamie is safe and at peace as are all spirits in the spirit world. Tracy Tweed, do you have any messages from my husband? Um, he's talking about heart and cardiovascular health. So I'm not sure if that's how he passed or he or you're dealing with that or he wants you to get that checked. Can you answer me in caps? Yes or no, heart cardiovascular. Answer me in all caps. Christy Country Girl. Hi from Tennessee. Can you do a reading? So when I do these free online readings on here, um, give me a first name and a relationship because it's not one-on-one -on -one and it's much faster and easier for me to connect that way. Mm. I have a whole bunch of messages. So Maria's fine. Yes, Menace Maria's okay. Everyone is okay who crosses over. I don't believe people get stuck I don't believe that that's not doesn't sit well with me doesn't resonate with me I think your spirit can do whatever it wants I just don't as I just it doesn't make sense to me Jenny Chandra um is she like a super duper uber strong woman like she was in charge um answer me yes or no she was in charge. Chandra was in charge in caps. All right. I got to see where's my answers here. Uh, a whole bunch of stuff just came through. You know how it is on these. Tracy Tweed. Okay. So yes, cardiovascular heart stuff. Okay. So he wants you to check, keep your, keep your stuff in line, like keep checking it, take care of your health 
and all that. He that's his message. And for the so a couple of people are like repeating the same thing like 20 times in a row. I'm going to ignore those. Don't do that, please, cuz it's not fair to other people. Every once in a while Uh, let's see. Hi, B states. Jenny said yes, but I don't. Jenny, I don't remember what I. Hi, um, CHD Nuke. I'll use your screen name. I think I sent you an email um, about the small group reading. I think I did. If anybody wants the small, oh, he had a heart attack. Thanks, Tracy. If you want a small group reading, I have two spaces left. They might be booked already. I haven't checked my email for a few hours. Um, 25 bucks for a small group reading. Um, email me, because it's not on my website. Otherwise, for a full reading, my website. He had the heart attack. Okay, so are you taking care of your, he's talking about you getting your, cardiovascular stuff checked. Okay. Oh, thank you. Let's see. Yes, crazy. Yes, he is fine, safe, and at peace. All right, let's see what else I have. Heather Lowe. Um, Heather, did your brook? Okay, he's showing me little kids. So either there's little kids that he was very close to or looked after, or he had little kids. Let me know yes or no to the little kids in caps, Heather. He's talking about the kids. Now, when he's showing me little kids, that doesn't mean they're still little. Um, it's you have to interpret things. That's that's the struggle of a medium. Okay, <laughs> she was always in charge. Yeah. Okay, Chandra. Right. All right. Yeah. She's very. She's. <laughs> um. She's coming forward like she almost looks like a linebacker. Um. She's presenting herself. Not that she actually looked like that. But she was presenting herself as she's coming forward as I'm in charge. Everybody better move out of the way. And this is what's happening. And that's how she's presenting. So, yeah, she still retains that personality trait. Uh, Robertson mom, too. I think I said that right. Blakey died on Monday. No idea how she died. What's the relationship? His girls are older. Heather, does, does his, do his girls have kids? Maybe he's just showing me them as children. Um, okay. Because he's definitely... Um, oh, he's showing me a whole story. This happens sometimes, so just bear with me. Feel like the daughters. They're showing me very, very strange images and I'm having a hard time deciphering. So it's like they're um, very, it's like two of them are right there close. But I feel like there's something in between them. Um, is this causing a rift between them? No, no to the young. Okay. So, okay. <laughs> um, Jenny. Um, she said, so are you and the oldest daughter? Oh, thank you, Robin. Oh, Jenny, are you the oldest daughter? Whoever the oldest daughter is, Chandra's saying, you're in charge now. You're in charge here. 
but she's still in charge from over there. She's like, I'm pulling the strings. Um, thank you, Robin. She said, Nick is amazing. Her reading is absolutely worth the money for a private 40 minutes. So healing. Oh, thank you so much. She's one of my clients. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Anna. Okay, Jenny, you're the oldest daughter. Okay, so she's she, her message is you're in charge now. Um, does my oh, 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 oh. does my grandpa uh, Gabriel know how much I regret not going to see him? He knows Anna, but it doesn't matter because he knows why, and he understands. There's no resentment in the spirit world, no matter what happened between you and another person and this is very was very hard for me to believe and accept when I became a medium no matter what happened between you and another person when they cross over there's no bitterness there's no resentment there's no anger there's only full understanding so you Please forgive yourself, Anna. Um, Shanice, are you asking about Ladwina? Ladwima? Is this your friend that passed recently? Can you answer me? Oh, wait. No, it says my friend Kristen. Can you put it in one sentence? Like, what are you asking me? Heather, after he passed, his girls made contact with the family. Okay, because I feel like there's something bothersome that happened. There was a... Don't really know how to describe it, but there's something... Are his two girls like extremely close or very much alike are they they look alike i don't know they just look like they're like right together <clears throat> okay hold on i'm looking for answers <laughs> okay so shani sladwina Um, it's so strange. I'm seeing now, I don't know. <laughs> was there, was there something interesting about her hair or something on her head, something she wore on her head? I'm seeing something. She's showing me something interesting on her head or her hair. Let me know. Yes or no. Head or hair in caps. Island Chocolate Goddess. I love that name. Yes, your boyfriend, Andrew. Um, first, he apologized, and then he immediately said, but I don't really have that much to apologize for. Like, he felt bad about something, but he thought you were his queen. Does that make sense? Oh, okay, Heather, that makes sense. Because that's why I couldn't figure it out. She said they're, the two sisters are alike, but they're half-sisters and never met before. Okay. Okay. That's why it was so weird. I couldn't figure it out. It's like I could see them together, but something was splitting them apart. I could see them together, but something was splitting them apart. It was like something in between them. That makes perfect sense because I could not figure that out. Thank you for clarifying that. Let's see. Ah, hold on, a whole bunch of stuff just loaded. Uh, Jennifer, what does my father think 
about my recent choices. He wants you to, does this have to do with a significant other? Um, or do you have a significant other he was unsure about? Jennifer, um, basically he just wants you to be true to yourself and be happy and don't make sacrifices that aren't, um, that aren't worth it. So Jennifer, lightning, light, re light renegade healing, answer me in caps, yes, about the significant other or no. How do you get a private reading? You can book on my website, peacefulnickthemedium.com. And if you want to join my small group reading this Saturday at 6 p.m. Pacific, you can email me. I only have a couple of spots left. It's on Zoom. The small group reading's on Zoom at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern, Saturday. Thank you for the follows. Let's see. I'm trying. Oh, oh, oh. Uh. Oh, no. Oh, oh, did somebody send me those lights or did I do that? That's awesome. Okay. <laughs> so many answers are coming through. All right, one at a time. You do have a significant other. Okay. Did your dad have questions about the significant other? Like, was there a little bit of part of your dad that was like, hmm, you know, like maybe something... He didn't like, but not something horrible, just like, hmm. All right. Uh, Island Chocolate Goddess, you are correct. Will he get justice soon, Andrew? Okay. I All I know is I absolutely love your screen name. Um, will he get justice? So this is the thing about justice. Justice isn't always served on earth, unfortunately. We all are too familiar with things, bad things happening. I assume someone is responsible for his passing. I don't know, I'm feeling a, a projectile, a gunshot or something, something sudden and impactful. Please let me know, Chocolate Goddess. Um, sadly, we don't always get justice on earth, but we always, justice is always served spiritually. And that is, hold on. I thought you were asking about your husband. I'm, I'm confused. All right. So let's see. Heather, oh, I'm confused about this. Odd question, can he communicate with daughter? Sure, he can communicate with anybody he, want, he wants. She has told me many times, now she heard him. Yeah, of course, yeah, he can, anybody from the spirit world can communicate if we can hear him. Miss Evie, for 25 bucks Saturday night, Email me. You can join my group group reading. It's only twenty five dollars, and you'll get a, sh a short reading. It's not a full hour per person, but you will get. You should get a reading. Most people do. Okay, I got to go back through these comments. Hmm. Hold on, I gotta. You know how these comments load out of order. Thank you, Shanice. Oh, Shani. Uh, CHD Nuke. Nick is a very good medium. She is on point. Very, very worth it. Love her. Thank you. I love you too. Mwah. All right. Oh, you know what? I think I got a couple of the people mixed up. He never met him. 
Okay. So maybe he was, okay, light renegade. I think um, he was probably just pointing that out then. Is that the decision you were talking about? Is he happy with it? Um, you know, I think it's a dad's job to always question that. Okay, Island Chocolate. Okay. I'm so sorry. I'm very sorry um, that that happened. And I cannot obviously guarantee what the justice system will do because we know how that goes. Um, but know that it's insignificant once you're in spirit whether that happens on earth because in spirit we know things get worked out the way they're supposed to. Uh, Miss Evie, I don't do like psychic predictions about jobs and stuff, but I wish you well. Just keep working hard and you know, sometimes it's just luck and sometimes it's grit and sometimes it's a lucky break and sometimes it's just a combination of things falling in place. Mm -hmm. Mom of Spicers, can you pick up anything from my son Malachi? I'm very sorry you lost your son. Um... Would he have been, all I'm hearing is on the spectrum, on the spectrum. Would he have been on the spectrum? Um, answer me in caps. Yes, on the spectrum. No, off the, not on the spectrum. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, light running gate. I got two different people's names mixed up. I'm sorry. Your question was about your business. Um, and you wanted to know what your dad's opinion was about it. As long as you're happy, he's happy. I mean, that's really all there is. Because nothing here on earth materially matters. They don't care. They don't care if we have a million dollars or a billion dollars or five dollars. It's irrelevant to them. They want us to be happy. They want our souls to grow. They want us to be full of love. Thank you for all the likes, everybody. That's very sweet and wonderful. Oh, and also, I didn't um, mention this tonight. 10% uh, of all of my proceeds from October 1st to December 15th are being donated to families in need for the holidays to buy gifts and food. For families over the holidays and all of the little roses and presents and stuff you guys put on here all of that all of that goes so thank you um i appreciate it all right i have so many comments ah. okay so it must be somebody else mom of spicers all right so I just see something very um, with Malachi. I don't know. There's some. Was there something negative surrounding him? Because I just feel like something very negative was around him. Um, could have been a negative energy around the family, it could have been someone interfering with some some negativity. Uh, I just feel there's a vibe coming through. Um, now I'm seeing the hospital, like a, a children's cancer ward. And I hope I'm not off base because when there's a lot of people on here, it, that happens sometimes. I'm sorry if I am. Um, let me know in caps about Malachi because I feel like something very negative was around him and I'm seeing him in like a children's hospital bed. 
Yes, KT Marie, your daddy is fine. Um, Paige, uh, sure, any t as soon as you type that, anytime you guys type or think of someone, um, thank you for all those roses, that's amazing. Anytime you type someone's name, think of someone's name, any of that, instantly they can connect and they can be right there. I'm waiting for comments. Divine One Love, Freddie. Um, was Freddie super young? Like, well, I mean, I'm 50, so <laughs> maybe like 30 or something, like young. He seemed young. He was nothing negative. He was, okay. He was born at 35 plus five. So 35 weeks and five days. So he was in the hospital. Okay. But he was, so the negativity could very well just be the sadness and anguish of him being a preemie and the dangers that that comes with um, is the only other thing I can think of with that. Um, and if, if you feel like it, let me know how long he survived after birth. If you, if you're comfortable. 52, huh? But did he, did he look like super young? Like, I feel like he's showing me super young or young at heart. Divine love, divine one love. Cause he's showing me really young. Yes, Nikki is okay. Uh, Jackie. Hold on, hold on, hold on. To probably. Okay. Divine one love. Yeah, because he's showing me super young looking. So was he young at heart and did young, like he didn't want to, like he just wasn't sitting around doing nothing. Like he was doing stuff. He wanted to live like while he was here. Weird Mama 666. She said, change your screen name. He said, excuse me, change your screen name. Um, with a wink, you know. Mm. Yes, always. Okay, that makes sense. Divine One Love. Okay, so let's talk about your husband, Divine One Love. I guess the older I get, the more when I see somebody, they seem younger. I really need to do better adjusting to that. Because um, someone at 50 now, to me, looks 30. I guess because I'm 50 now. <laughs> I don't know. Does that happen to anybody else? Like, it's harder to gauge age as you get older. Um, like, I think a 25-year-old looks 14. I don't know. Um, all right, let's, so let's talk to Divine One Love's husband. Now, I know there's another husband on here that was, that was shot. That was Chocolate Goddess. So I don't think this is your, I don't think your husband was also shot. But I'm hearing um, accident, accident, accident. So divine one love was an was his passing an accident. Just yes or no accident. Okay. Yes. Yes to accident or yes to shot. Or yes to both. No. Now she said no. Yes, ha ha. Ha ha yes and then no. All right. Uh CHD nuke anything from Kristen. This is the friend that just passed. I believe I don't want to disappoint you because you're we've already had readings um uh -oh, uh oh hold on all right divine one love I'm not seeing the rest of the answer all right let's look 
back to, I want to go back to CHG Newt, Kristen. She's talking about Chris, this is for CHG Newt, Kristen. It's talking about um, taking better care of yourself. Um, there's I don't know why she's doing this. This is strange. She's going dun dun dun. Like you've got to go do this, this, and this. But what you really need to do is rest and just take care of yourself. So I feel like you're doing a lot of stuff, but it's not helping you rest and recover. So that's that's what I would say. Okay, I'm looking for divine love answer yes all right we got yeses okay okay not shot but it was an accident is that correct divine one love yes your dad user three two two whatever there's no name on here what about my dad does does he visit me sure as soon as you type that there he is right there it's instantaneous some of these i already answered and now it says I have messages, but there. You're welcome, CHD Nuke. I hope I say that right. Okay, let's see. No, okay, I don't know. Sorry about that. A lot, sometimes that happens on here. A bunch of people get on here and it just gets all clogged up in my head. Oh, thank you, Archie Piglet. Oh, I like that. So let me go back to Divine One Love. Okay. So let me just see. Huh. What he wants to show me. He's, was he... Was, I don't know was if he was just like would talk to everybody because I feel like he's bringing other people forward that are just telling me other things. And that's why I'm very confused. Um, I feel like he's like talking to everyone in the spirit world. Was he like a busybody like that? Like not in a bad negative way. I don't mean that negative. I mean like he could make a friend with anybody. Uh, I feel like he's just talking to everybody. Um, let me know. Yes or no, he was talkative. Um, Del Delias De Sanchez, I believe that says. Forgive me if that's wrong. Do you know why it is hard to communicate with spirit when they have just died? Well, interesting you ask that. It depends on the spirit. It depends on the medium. It depends on the person just trying to communicate. There's a lot of variables, a lot of variables. Now, my first two mediumship experiences that were clear and unquestionably real and what led me to move from my science communication and education career into mediumship was people who passed the day that I got the message. Like super strong, super accurate, incredibly vivid messages, both of them, the day the person passed. So I think they're are many reasons like someone who just lost someone is recommended to wait at least three months so the pain and agony of the trauma can kind of wane a little bit that doesn't mean the spirit can't communicate it's really for the benefit of the person here on earth so i don't know if they can't or if it's just oh crazy for shepherd lady hi this i took this picture outside a couple days ago and um, thank you. I love it. 
Let's see, divine one love. Yeah, very. I think he's like bringing everyone through with him because he's like telling me. This is. I'm just gonna tell you what he, what I what he's showing me. Okay, this is why I'm so confused. So this is for divine one love. Her husband. Oh, thank you for that beautiful heart. Um, divine one loves husband has brought me through. I think chocolate um, goddess is husband who was shot. Brought me somebody who passed in a car accident. Brought me someone who overdosed. And like has all of these people that he's bringing forward that he wants me to talk to. And I'm like, well, I don't know who they need to talk to. So I need to know. So he's just like, come over here. Come over here. Talk to her. Talk. So he's kind of like being a... a <laughs> he's trying to be my helper. But it's kind of confusing me because I don't know who we, they, who the people he's talking to belong to. Um, so I feel like he was a good, helpful person um, and very friendly. But I have to know who to talk to. Um, thank you, Crazy for Shepherd Lady. We had a lovely talk the other day. That was wonderful. I really appreciate it. So anybody here who, because people only usually stay on here a minute or two, if you want a full reading, PeacefulNickTheMedium.com. I hope you can see all that up there. Um, if you want to join my small group reading, it's this Saturday at 6 p.m. I'll have another one mid-December-ish before Christmas. Um, and then January, probably once a month I'll do the, those. It's only $25. It's not on my website, so you have to email me. Um, and it's first come, first serve, and I only have a couple spots left for this Saturday, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. Oh, your dad, Jim, was a medium. Oh, that's wonderful, Laura Marie. All I'm seeing when I, when I read that is John Edward, the medium. So I don't know if he looked like him or he had the same personality uh, but as soon as I read that I saw John Edward cut pop into my face pop into my head so does he have a connection to him in some way let me know in caps yes or no John Edward uh, that's a random thing I know uh Carla was hmm 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 Logan, Logan, Logan. I don't see I'm seeing young again. And I, I don't know if it's because I'm like super tired or if <laughs> if one loves husband is just bringing through everybody in like a cycle and nobody's matching the right person. Somebody is in the other room on the phone. Sorry if you can hear that. My husband's talking to my mother-in-law. She's very loud. <laughs> Busy body. Yeah, I can see. Oh, did Kristen OD? Did they not get the um, autopsy? Thank you, Crazy for Shepherd Lady. She said I was spot on. Yeah, we just had a reading. Hmm. You know, I... If it was, I would say it's an accident. I wouldn't say she was unaliving herself purposefully. But let me know if they have the autopsy. Uh, all right, Island Chocolate Goddess, your late BF, Andrew. So that's a different person, Island Chocolate. Let me know if that's a different, because the other one was your husband, right? Was Andrew a jerk to you? Because I feel like he wants to apologize. Oh, Robin Young could be. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I've never had this happen. Um, uh, so you can thank Divine One Loves Husband for bringing through all these people who he wants me to talk to. <laughs> so... The car accident is Robin Young's Ryan. Oh. Did we talk about the, we did talk about Ryan. Is this the Ryan I remember from our talk? Robin? 
Yeah, so uh, let's see. Does my... Oh, some of these are repeated and all out of order now. Sure, Crystal Clawson. Yeah, anytime you think of your mother-in-law, Kathy, sure, she's right there. Um, if, if you think of... When you see the bird, if you think of her, that is. So they put that... They bring their energy through and say, here I am. And that's what makes you think of them. It's not our imagination. Okay, and then... Okay, CHG Nuke, I don't remember what, I don't remember what I asked you. I'm sorry. Okay, Deliasa Sanchez, three months ago, her son died. Okay, so that must be the car accident. And it was an accident. And um, he was a little confused at first when he passed wasn't his fault. I don't feel like it was his fault. Nikki Rocks, I don't think it was purposeful. Oh, it's the same person, Island Chocolate. Oh, I must have misread that. I think I'm just getting tired. I have to go cook dinner. My son's coming over to visit. Um, okay. I th Okay. Not a jerk. It's confusing at times. He was shot on the torso. Okay. Robin. All right, Robin. Thank you. I thought that was you. There's no picture, so I can't recognize you. I'm better with faces than names. Lori Marie. Okay. Um, I am going. It's who was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's who I thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's. I remember. I'll never forget Ryan. He was. Um, I did a reading for this lady, and I've never had a more clear spirit connection ever. And it was as if he was sitting next to me, just telling me the story. It was wonderful. Very wonderful. Uh, communicator and that's the other thing uh before I wrap it up <clears throat> um okay epilepsy okay yeah I feel like it was an accident okay so this is the thing just a few little things about mediumship um we can't we are interpreting flashes of stuff usually a flash here a flash there some of it can be random leaking in from a previous reading or reading that's coming up later that day because um, I do several readings each time I do readings and um, so we're left to interpret odd looking things like earlier I had the two girls but I felt like they were separated but they were the same and then I found out yeah they were the same they were, I mean, they were, they were alike, but they were never met. So they're, they were the same, but different. So we have to interpret what's in our database in our head and the things we know versus what they show us. Um, and we have to interpret, what does that mean? Does it mean the literal thing or does it mean a symbolic thing? And is the communicator clear or is the communicator, because we have a frequency, we have to rise, raise our frequency to, and they have to meet us in the spirit world and communicate and show us stuff. So it's not always, it's not like science where it's like ABC, here it goes, this is the stuff. It's more interpretive. So, oh, thank you, Robin. Yes, yeah, so my readings, my full readings are $100 for 40 minutes. <coughs> I try to keep my prices reasonable because I want to help as many people. Oh, no. What is happening? <laughs> Those were cool classes were so cool. That was funny. You got to see my messy room. Um, I try to keep my... Um... Oh, okay. Crazy for Shepherd Lady. Wonderful. I try to keep my prices reasonable because I do work full time. And so it's not like I'm not doing this, just this for my income right now, thankfully. 
Um, my group readings are only $25. You get about a 15 minute reading and they're pretty dense. They're pretty good for the short time. Um, and it's on Zoom. I can do FaceTime if you have an iPhone. I do FaceTime readings, which is the easiest. Um, or I uh, do Zoom. And uh, my payment methods are Venmo or PayPal. And when you book, you'll get all that information from me. And my next group is the Saturday. I actually have a couple of dates the week of Thanksgiving in the evening that I'm opening up. Um, for people to book so email those aren't published on my website because my webmaster just got engaged and was out of town and so she hasn't updated my website yet um, so for reading dates that are weekdays email me um, because I do have dates in November and December that aren't published on my website that are weeknights um, so that aren't just Saturdays only Saturdays are published on my website right now um, but I do have other dates and you can email me with any questions. I teach classes. Um, those you, you can book one-on-one -on -one classes on my website, but for the six time, the classes that are six weeks, we have to set those dates up through email because we have to get our schedules together. Yeah, I would say what a, it was an accident. They didn't do a tox talk screener or you know toxicology or anything um interesting um so i just you're welcome any questions feel free to email me um i answer emails every day sometimes it's in the late in the evening um when i'm just sitting around doing paperwork but ask me any questions about anything about mediumship or meetings or classes you're welcome um, i appreciate everyone being here i'm going to go cook spaghetti for my son and my husband and myself obviously and thank you all for joining me i'll go live again tomorrow night and um, i'm i've had the busiest two weeks of work at my day job i've ever had in my life so i haven't been going live as much as i like but that's about to loosen up here soon over the next few weeks. So I plan, see you Saturday, Shawnee. It is Shawnee's, right? Am I right about that? I think, yes. Um, <laughs> I hope I have that right. I'm terrible at names. Anyway, I appreciate everyone being here. Thank you so much. Okay, good. <laughs> I would have been so embarrassed if I had the wrong name. My face is all remember forever. Um, thank you everyone. I'll be live again tomorrow night. I'm going to, I'm off work tomorrow. So hopefully I'll get some rest. You're welcome. Esperanza. Um, I'll see you all hopefully tomorrow. Email me with any questions. Bye. Have a good evening.